Okay, so we need to do a new and improved uh, solution for this problem. I think I made a mistake on uh, the very end part, probably more about number two, um, but that's okay. We can uh, redo this problem regardless. So uh, we're calculating, uh, we need to calculate the buoyant force acting on an object um, in order to determine whether it's going to float or sink in some water. Um, so a couple, I don't know, just like maybe a flow chart to, way to think about this. Uh, what we need to know is we need to know the buoyant force, right? So the buoyant force, if you recall, is the weight of the displaced fluid. In this case, it'll be water. And the weight of the displaced fluid equals the weight of, well, I should say, in this case, so therefore we have to uh, find the mass of the water displaced by the object, right? So we know that the object itself has a mass of 200 grams, but that's what we're going to compare to um, the buoyant force here at the very end. So what we really need to do is find, right now, the mass of water displaced in order to calculate its weight. And since we know the density is mass over volume, and we know the volume of water was 25 milliliters, and we know the density of water is 1.0, we can use this formula to solve for the mass. So 1.0 gram per milliliter equals the mass, which we don't know, of the displaced fluid and volume of 25 milliliters. So we're going to do some algebra here, multiply both sides by 25 milliliters because we're dividing by 25 milliliters. 25 by 25 is 1. That leaves us with mass. And 25 times 1 is 25 cool thing here is you can see that the units of milliliters cancel out. Milliliter divided by milliliter is 1. So we know we have 25 grams. Um, cool. So we know that we have 25 grams was the mass of the water displaced. So now we need to calculate the weight of the water displaced. So remember that weight equals mass in kilograms times the force of gravity. We're on Earth, so it's 9.8 newtons per gravity, 9.8 newtons per kilogram. 25 divided by 1,000, because remember there's 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So 25 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.025 kilograms times, again, 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Throw that into your calculator, and you will get a value of 0.245 newtons. So this is probably kind of the maybe the big leap that we all have to make it make here. So we just calculated the weight of the displaced water. And remember, somehow note this, this equals the buoyant, this equals the buoyant force. The weight of the displaced water is the buoyant force. Remember, that's all the particles of water pushing back on an object when it's dropped into water or any fluid for that matter. Now if you remember, the mass of the object is 200 grams. So we don't, at this moment, we can't make our final call yet on whether it floats or sinks because we have to calculate the weight of the object. So the weight of the object equals 200 grams, again, divided by 1,000 because we know that there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So it's 0 .25, 0 0.2 kilograms times, again, the same force of gravity here on Earth. And we get a value of 1.96 newtons. So now we're ready to make our comparison. So the weight of the object is 1.96 newtons, and the buoyant ah the buoyant force is 0.245 newtons. So clearly, the weight of the object is much larger than the buoyant force, so therefore this object must do what? It must sink. So I think I had that wrong someplace. Okay, there we go. All done.